Hello, everyone. Let's take a look at Laura's common ancestor of a binary tree three. Okay, for this problem, let's take a look at the problem description since it's a locked question. So, given two nodes of a binary tree P and Q, we need to return their Laura's common ancestor. Let's take a look at the definition of this node. It does not only have left and right node, it also has a parent node. So it's very helpful here. In the first example, PS5, Q is one. So Laura's common ancestor is node three. In this example, PS5, Q is four. So Laura's common ancestor is five. Okay, let's take a look at the constraints. So P and Q exist in the Q and um, P is not same as Q. Okay, so there are some similar questions previously. For example, Lico 236, Lewis common ancestor of a binary tree one, and Lico 1644, Lewis common ancestor of a binary tree two. So um, they have very similar questions. If you haven't practiced those two problems, you can take a look and solve them first. Okay, for this problem, so let's take, um, we can come up with a solution very quickly. For example, for a node, um, let's say we need to find the lowest common ancestor of six and four. So let's start with six first. We can put six and all its ancestors into a hash set. Then we can start with another node four. Like uh, it just travels from itself, then find its par parent keep iterating its parent. As long as one parent exists in my hash set, we just return the first parent node uh, that existed in my hash set. So for this solution, we know the time complexity is O log N and space complexity is O log N. Of course, it's average case. In some cases, uh, my tree may, may be like degraded into like several linked lists, which means um, like we don't have many other nodes. The tree is not very evenly distributed. We just have some very long uh, subtrees, so it may become all. An... Okay, let's take a look at another solution. So for this problem, it's very like that we have two linked lists, and we need to find the first common node if if they have interactions, right? So all these nodes, like zero, one, eight, they are useless here. So we. So in our mind, we don't need to uh, think about them. Okay, so it's like uh, we have two linked lists and they interact at five and we need to find this node five. Okay. One, one solution here is that uh, like we can calculate the length force then for the like for the longer node, we can just, uh, we know the, for node six, uh, the distance is two from this node to root. And for node four, the distance is three. So we can just uh, make node four, like uh, go one step first, then, then each of um, the node can like find its parent. And as long as they have the common parent, we can just re return. But, um, Another solution here is uh, that um, we can try to think about the simple case first. So we have node four and node six. In each iteration, we move them to their parent. So when they're five, we find uh, the two nodes are same. So we can just return it. A complex case is here. Uh, in this case, let's think about that. Um, so distance from node P to common node is L1. The distance from common node to root is L2. The distance from Q to common node is L3. So if we start from node P, node P goes to root node first. When, when it's uh, reaching the root node, we place P at Q, then ask it to go to common node we know the distance is L1 plus L2 then plus L3. For node Q, we do something similar. We ask node Q like, to go to root node. When it's reaching the root node, we place Q at node Q, node P, then ask it to come to common node. So the distance is L3 plus L2 then plus L1. 
we find the distance the same. So if 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 they uh, work in this way, finally they will meet at this common node, right? So the code looks like this. Uh, we initialize a to node p. We initialize b point to node q. Then uh, each step they just go to their parent. Like for a, if it's reaching non-pointer, which means uh, it goes a rich root, then we update it to its parent, its non-pointer. Then if we find it's a non-pointer, we place it at Q. Similarly, like for node B, if it's non-pointer, we place it at node P. So at last, if they, are, they will become the same node, like at least uh, when we iterate like L1 plus L2 plus L3 times, they will fi finally meet and uh, they will meet as this common node. Okay. So if A and B are same, we will break this while loop and we just return A. So time complexity is, is log n. Of course it is on average. In some cases, like the tree, just like, like this, it just like very too long linked list. It's a time complexity will be something like um, log n or uh, instead of log n become O n. Okay, so that's it. See you next time.